So, friends, I want to record another video. We see how the devil is becoming more serious, attacking churches and attacking people who preach and who preach the gospel better than others. But we must not forget that we always yeah. have prayer. I have will to read beads for this occasion. Christian beads, and from time to time I pray with them. against demons and witches and so on. We are constantly in a state of spiritual warfare. Constantly. And the mistake of many Christians is that they do not pray. They do not bother Satan in any way. They have no plans for preaching. Not about preaching. Maybe about supporting someone, but not about prayer. You see, in reality, a Christian has many paths. You can combine all three paths and aspects. But if you don't have enough strength or you don't like preaching, for example, or something else, you can focus on other tasks. If you don't have the ability to help oh. someone or you haven't developed such qualities, then you can at least pray. But many people are afraid of the answer. They are afraid that demons will retaliate, and so on. Yes, to some extent, this is justified. But I repeat, we are at war with the kingdom of the devil. We cannot be neutral. Yes, when a soldier goes to war, he knows that he can be injured or killed, and so on. Yes, but I don't mean soldiers who fight for money and so on. There have been many wars in human history with a background, so to speak, a holy background. And people went to war knowing that they could be injured or killed. So we are also in this war. We must understand that we can also be injured or killed. But here is another question. When you come to the judgment of God and you are asked why you did nothing, you will say that you were afraid of demons. I was afraid of witches and sorcerers. I was afraid that they would retaliate. And therefore, in principle, I will not do anything. You see, you can even be condemned for that. And some people have been caught for such things. But even if we remove all these points now, I just want to convey one thought in this video, that the devil does not sleep. The devil is always nearby. And in the Bible it is written that he walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And the devil constantly attacks me. I see it. Yes, maybe I can deflect all the blows. I am not a cyborg. I am just a human being. But I fight and people forget that they have a hidden enemy. The devil, who wants to possess their soul, who wants to destroy their lives, if possible. But now even the whole problem of poverty the problem of debt. Are you in some kind of social situation? And all of this is going to the background because we see. Now, right before our eyes, the real end of the world is unfolding. 
the real apocalyptic end of the world is unfolding before our eyes. And we see it. We see it. And we feel it right before our eyes. Wars are unfolding before our eyes. People are going crazy. People are losing their human form. People are losing their human appearance. We see all this. We see it all. And as Christians now, we must somehow, maybe, be more vigilant and more attacking towards the enemy's kingdom. We have prayer. We have spiritual weapons. We have a spiritual sword. We have the blood of Christ. We have faith. And we must. Try now with all our might to fight evil. Because Jesus will really return to this earth soon and we are now in the midst of war because new demons from hell are coming to earth and when the strongest demons are released, one of the strongest demons, the third world war will begin. That is why we must be vigilant. We must remain at our post, and we must do something to the best of our ability. Despite fatigue and other problems, many people simply do nothing. They just watch everything. They are just spectators who observe, but they themselves do nothing, like some kind of bots. Like NPCs, as they say in the game Go who stand there and nothing depends on them, but you must take every sword in your hands, so that something depends on you. Take your spiritual sword and start fighting more fiercely, because I know many of you have these powers, you have reserves. Take them and fight. 